we're standing in a place called Kiluktanon, called Finian's Upper Church, I think is the translation of it. Yeah, Kiluktanon. And this was St. Fortune and St. Finian's, would we say a home place or their ground years ago? St. Fortune had his little oratory up there and his well down here. And um, this is where the chalice, the Kiluktanon chalice was found. Uh, it used to be called the Braganza Chalice because when it was found it went to the bishop's house in Carla, which was Braganza. So eventually it came back to Baglestown and we said we called the Kiluktanon Chalice. Why not? It was, belongs to here. A, la a local lady here was cleaning up the well. The well wasn't anything like it is now in the summer, a dry summer. And she said she'd clean out the well. And uh, when she did, she came upon this object and um, she just said she'd unravel, see what it was. And when she unravelled the material she discovered, uh, she didn't even know it was material, she found this beautiful silver chalice in it. So we presume it was a priest that time, on the run, maybe say in mass at a local mass rock or something, and uh, hid his chalice in his vestments with the intention of coming back for them, but maybe never got back for them. Get run. And was that, what was her name again? Uh, O'Hara. Miss O'Hara. Yeah, Miss O'Hara. Oh, was she a local woman? She was a local woman, lived over the road there, yeah. And they found, yeah. a, found the chalice. And, found the chalice. And where's that chalice held now? It's held now, it's back in the Franciscan friary, actually in Waterford, who belongs to a friar down there when they seen the inscription. But every year it comes back to um, Bagnestown, to the parochial house, and it's brought out here for the annual pattern mass in July and used. And that's the last... Friday, that's the last Friday. Uh, last Friday, usually in July. Last Friday in July. Years ago, it was the Feast of St. Fortune in October, and we would have the Mass above at the Little Archery. Yeah. And th that stopped then? That stopped then, and they moved down here when they started removing the altars out of the church after some of the Vatican councils, I think, when they took down all these. We um, got an altar from Ballinkillen, and they erected it there, the locals, a very great local committee here, and they erected the little altar there, so we have Mass here now. In July. July. Yeah. And there's a bull on stone behind me, isn't there? There's a bull on stone there, and sure we don't really know the origin. We believe St. Bartram had something to do with it. He had it for grinding and everything. So you said he was a tin smith, was it? Yeah, he well, said he was a metal smith for pattern. Or a metal smith, yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, we don't know, probably used for grinding, obviously, something. But um, there is a tradition about the the water from the bull on stone, if you had a water in your hand or fingers and you dipped it in that, it would be cured and several people have been. At that particular one behind us here? Now. Behind us and other ones that I know of. Yeah, and the water here, is the water there used for a cure in front of St. Fortune's well? Well, I don't know, I can't say that, but like people have great belief in it. Yeah. Yes, and right. would always take away water from St. Fortune's well. And would you Tradition in Ireland, isn't it, from the blessed wells? Yeah, yeah. and would you drop that water in your house at home? Oh, always, yeah, yeah. Oh. But then we'd be regular. You'd nearly never pass the road, but you'd come down to the Blessed Well or you'd bring the children or the grandchildren and you'd always, you'd, there's always a mug down there and you get drink the water or bring yeah. it home. And you were saying there were nine, stone, nine steps down to it? I think it's nine granite steps. That's how it was found in latter years. Yeah, down there. Yes, Dr. Comerford, Bishop of Kildare and Lachlan, discovered that it was nine steps and a certain distance away where the well was. And the, the well had been missing as well. That was gone out of use as well, wasn't it? I think it was. Yeah. yeah. Not sure, but I'm sure it was after some time. So then it was found again, and this is how it was all built up. Yeah. Did you hear stories of people from Wexford and all would come to that well for cures? I heard that. To this particular well. Yeah, it could be true. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a great tradition in Ireland of the cures in all the blessed wells. Everyone has great devotion to them and reverence for them, and you know. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Thanks, William. Welcome. Mm. Come on. Thank you.